Yeah, yeah, that thumbnail was just clickbait. Uh, <laughs> I did go back to the thrift stores and I did see these on the shelves, but sadly, uh, these are all just empty boxes. Uh, and originally, at first, I thought that the thrift store was doing their normal shenanigans and trying to sell people empty boxes. But I talked to the manager, and she says that they no longer like do stuff like that. They don't put like empty boxes out for sale. Uh, so what somebody did is probably go through all of these boxes, take everything out, put it in one box, so they could literally save a couple bucks, which is like. It's so frustrating and stupid. So of course, the first thing that I saw was the lovely basic set here, uh, but that actually had the GURPS Fantasy thing in it by Steve Jackson. <laughs> and this was priced individually. So that's why I figure uh, somebody did go through the boxes and take stuff out and stuff. I've never actually owned anything like this before. I found the expert set at a garage sale once as a child. But if you saw my previous video, then you know that I was scammed out of that and I, I, I that got stolen away from me by somebody else. Apparently they don't have room to lock this stuff up anymore. It's in their really good condition. So I would have assumed that these had everything in it. And it's a real shame because like, I really wish this stuff wouldn't have been split up. This was very reasonably priced, by the way. All these box sets were uh, $9.99. So it, it's a real shame. So the, again, the manager said, you know, that they don't sell empty boxes. So she offered to sell me the boxes for a couple bucks each. And I was happy enough to buy these. Maybe one day I'll be able to refill these with the original contents. Uh, or I'll just do a nice little display with all this lovely artwork. Again, Forgotten Realms. This this is the first D&D uh, &D book series I read as a teen. The Forgotten Realms stuff. So this is really <laughs> this is really cool to have the campaign set. It's a shame I don't have the stuff that's in it, but you know I I, I did find some other stuff, so it wasn't a complete waste, but uh, a, a bit of a bittersweet re-entry into the thrift stores. So not everything on the shelf was empty. I did find this Rollmaster boxed set, and it's actually very interesting because even though it's not the original contents, uh, the contents were pretty interesting. So uh, let's take a closer look at that right now. So I really don't know that much about Rollmaster. However, uh, I get a lot of enjoyment of reading these old RPG games. The Spell Law was the only official book left in the box set here. It's supposed to have three books. This is the only one I got. Uh, still worth six bucks though. And you always get a weird feeling when you go through these old role-playing books and you find the hand-drawn pictures and little notes that the previous owner put in there. It's a little weird you're holding another person's uh, memories of a game. And uh, there's uh, all sorts of little like things in here which is clearly, you know, uh, little jokes and stuff. The uh, Dun dun dun, written down. <laughs> you know, clearly meant something uh, to the person who owned this set back in the day. And uh, just judging from the printer paper with the uh, the sides there, uh, probably like you know, late, uh, probably early '90s, mid '90s, I would say. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. A lot of uh, a lot of little uh, personal history in this bit of uh, role playing stuff that I picked up at the thrift store, and it's it's interesting to go through it. Uh, and you know, it's, it motivates me to make sure uh, that I get my own stuff properly written up, <laughs> so people can possibly enjoy it later down the road, and it doesn't end up in some random box for six dollars some really cool artwork in there too and we have Greyhawk the first Greyhawk novel by Gary Gygax a very interesting little book uh, old but I think I will check it out and Ravenloft I heard of this book I read Another one of these Ravenloft books based on a visitor to Barovia. In this book, Lord Soth himself 
It gets transported to Barovia and mixes it up with Strahd. And in the other thrift store, a completely different thrift store, I found some of these handbooks for advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Again, I love reading through stuff like this. I generally always get at least some sort of idea uh, after you know going through a book like this that I can implement in my own game. Very interesting, even if the rules don't apply, there's always something in here I can steal for my own sessions. And here's what I got for a dollar <laughs> at the Goodwill by the Pound. Now, they changed their rules. Everything's a little bit uh, cheaper. I got a nice little wooden box here. Always can use one of those for something. Uh, I got some skull decorations here, probably from the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, that's definitely going to be some skull decorations in my next dungeon build. Uh, very old and I got this interesting little, <laughs> I don't, I think I was testing out the suction cup there. Uh, and then I got this uh, dumb looking, uh, well, I don't know if it's dumb looking, but I got this interesting looking uh, letter opener. I don't own a letter opener. So when I saw this, I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna use this uh, to open my letters from now on because I don't have a letter opener. <laughs> so this was fun. And of course, the Far Side Gallery 3, in pretty decent condition. Uh, books, of course, are 20 cents a pound. So, yeah, fun little find. This is interesting. Now, obviously, when you take a quick look at these, you'll say, why did you bother buying these? These are the full screen editions of the first Star Wars movies. Uh, full screen sucks on modern TV. Why did you buy these? It's because on the second disc is the original theatrical release of Star Wars. Now, if you didn't know, it's actually pretty difficult to get a, an official release of the theatrical release of Star Wars. This is the Laserdisc version, I believe. It's the Laserdisc version. So, uh, while the main disc in here is just the regular movie and, and full screen, which is not that great, uh, the other one will have the laser disc version of the original theatrical release, which I believe this is one of the few uh, officially released sets that has any kind of uh, theatrical release on it. If You can go down the rabbit hole and learn all about that, but uh, I thought this was very interesting, and I was glad to pick these up. So there you have it, everybody. All in all, not a bad return to the thrift store for the Blandco channel. Certainly, I really would have wished I would have found more actual D&D stuff. Maybe some stuff that I could have used for crafting into D&D miniatures. But you know what? Considering it's been almost a full year since I've been to the thrift stores, since I've taken the little loop around New Hampshire, checking out the local places. I am pretty happy with this. I'm going to be able to watch the uh, original Star Wars, <laughs> uh, and I'm going to have some interesting reading material and some great old school artwork that I can put on display on my shelf. So everybody, I'm back to go into the thrift store and doing these videos for you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to find some interesting stuff randomly in the thrift store for my next video. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on videos I should be concentrating on, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for your support uh, again. The people that donate on Patreon, the people that throw me a dollar, the people that buy my t-shirts, the people that just, you know, share my content. You guys are the reasons that I can keep on making these videos. So, again, just thank you, and I hope you have an amazing summer. We're gearing up towards some real positivity this summer. So, you all have a great one.
Uh.